Jeremiah and Ryan from the Devil's Twins. How you doing, guys? Oh, so you got whoa, interrupted whoa. right off the bat. Hey, yeah. you got the Musicians crowd right there. Musicians in the bar yeah. getting beers. How you doing? Hey, doing well, man. Doing, well, doing well. Tell us about your band. Uh, the Devil's Twins is a uh, noir punk band from Boston, Massachusetts, and um, it's uh, myself, uh, Nicole, we got Ryan here, my man who's RPM on the drums, and we have a horn section. Um, we're a noir punk band, um, and um, it's kind of like a uh, Amy Winehouse and Johnny Cash, but Brian Adams sort of thing, uh, on the darker side of music, right? right? Yeah, so they, there's one in every family. There's two in ours. God, how many albums do we have? Well, uh, if we finish this one, it'll yeah, be we're working on a new one. Actually, technically as we number speak. five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. yeah. All underground releases. Oh, right now. All right. So th this is this is the year where we're working on material where we're actually going to um, be approaching um, some labels for some interest for to do particular things because we've always done everything in house. Um, we're both producers, Ryan and I. Uh, so we produce in-house. Nicole and I both went to Mass Art and Art School in Boston. I'm a designer. She's a tattoo artist. So we've always, all the merch, all the music videos, the production on the music, everything, we've always done in-house. We really like to keep things in-house, and we like to control a lot of that sound. Um, and, and I think it's kind of a particular sound that we've worked on for a while. So uh, a little bit about the band sonically is that, so I sing and I play guitar. We don't have a bass player. I split my guitar signal three ways, and in those three parallel channels, one goes through a bass rig, one goes to my central guitar, and one goes to the other side of the stage. Along with that, we have a horn section too, right? So I, lot, I write a lot of melodies on guitar that end up being translated into horns, right? But essentially what you get is that very local H, which is a Chicago band, um, that very big local H sound. Ryan is a very heavy drummer, very intense I'm drummer. So. the in-house metalhead. Yeah. <laughs> So, you know, with, with that sort of thing combined, it allows us to um, have this sound that we're, we can groove on things and make it feel like a noir aesthetic Humphrey Bogart smoky CD sort of area. Um, that's sort of a bar, but also it's, it's very, very heavy music. Yeah, and also, it, it can go very Motorhead and Black Sabbath pretty fast. Okay, I was just going to say, <laughs> what, uh, what sort of influences would you Me, say? I'm, I'm, um, I, I was raised on uh, 80s punk and thrash, but sort of into the whole Doom thing now. So I've uh, been doing the Doom thing for years now. I'm mostly into Neurosis and I Hate God, um, Pentagram, uh, Blue Oyster Cult, stuff like that. But, and uh, where'd you like? Where do you like playing back home? Uh, Salem, Salem, Mass is just where it's at for us. Salem you know any is favorite just, clubs there. We, there's a uh, club there, Opus. Opus is really good. We pack it in there. Then there's a few, a couple rooms in Boston that yeah. we frequent. So House of Blues isn't half bad. House of Blues, <laughs> House of Blues was good. We had so. an opportunity uh, to we opened for Slash this past year. Awesome. And it was right before the Boston Music Awards, so we kind of wear that as a sign of pride. Yeah, that's great. Get to meet him? No. Okay. <laughs> in fact, they told us explicitly, stay in your green room or go outside during sound check. So my immediate thought was, uh, under that hat, is the hair attached to it? That was my thought. I don't know. We don't. We don't know. That's speculation. It's a mystery. Yeah. 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 All guy he can do whatever he wants. Yeah. Yeah. So what are you doing here tonight? Anti Queens, baby. This is our first time in Toronto. This is our first Welcome. time in Canada. Yeah, yeah that's awesome. First time. Yeah. And you're uh, you're opening for the Anti Queens tonight. Yeah. You've done shows with them before down home. We have. Yeah, we've, we have. Uh, yeah. We've had them in our uh, sort of home base town. Uh, there's 40 minutes, 45 minutes north of uh, Boston is Salem. Salem, Massachusetts is yes, it's the witches. Um, Salem Witch Trials, 1692. Yes. It's witch Trials. And we have our Halloween show, which is our annual Halloween Town Throwdown uh, uh, Halloween, and the Anti Queens are coming back. Yeah, they're down actually to coming down to play. Oh, that's great. Uh, uh. We'll talk about some stories. Uh, let's talk about some stories. So, we uh, we just retired our van, our tour van, um, and we retired that tour van and got a rental for this There's little. There's a rental over there. There's a yeah, rental yeah, over there. We what's got pretty a cool about it is we can stand up in it. We're very very excited yep. about being able to just stand up. And the other one we couldn't. Our first tour, 2013, um, bought the brand new, well, brand new van, um, and we drove down to Boca Raton, Florida. Um, that was after playing South by Southwest. Playing South by Southwest oh. and drove over to Boca Raton, Florida. 
and tra transmission went. Tra transmission went completely. Where Boca Raton, Florida. Okay. It's where uh, politics and people go to die. <laughs> <laughs> and vans, apparently. And vans. <laughs> so, uh, so while we were down there, there was a lot that had happened on the way down there. Our tour manager had gotten the neurovirus. Merch girl had a, a death in the family. Yeah, so had to fly back. So it was a lot of hits all at once. I, I Still a very good story. story from the road, didn't I? That's not. That's that, pretty funny. That's dark. <laughs> we oh, find dark. What was that? We were from know? Boston. <laughs> we're laughing. We're laughing about it now. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks for that. So this is your first time in Canada. How was the border? <laughs> I guess there's a bit of a ladder story. It. Yeah. Um, they. Uh, they consider us a merchant or something like that yeah, at the border, yeah. man. And I don't know, our manager went in and tried to sweet talk them, and it worked, apparently, because we got through and we still have our merch. But good, good. It was a, there was a little friction there. Yeah, you're going to have to pay duty on the T-shirts, I guess. Yeah they, wanted, yeah, they wanted us to pay like 300 bucks, and, and we're, we're cur our current net worth on this tour is probably 413. Yeah, so like we didn't bring that many albums. <laughs> we didn't bring that much merch, you know what I mean? So, so it told us that we had two choices, that we hide it somewhere and come back for it later oh, right. and we give them 300 bucks and we decided to go with neither and then oh, yeah. they just took mercy on us and we're, yeah, we're very, that's good that's kind of a funny story uh, yeah. good. that's actually good yeah. but we're really we're really excited to be in canada for the first time yeah, it's, it's our first nice time idea. for our first time playing in a different country um so it's this cool place to be is here. cool it's man. great to be here with yeah. bovine oh, yeah. bovine's awesome Antique queens are awesome yeah, we love and guys. uh yeah this is a heroic night uh cd release for them yeah, and, absolutely. and it's great to have you guys in canada and hope we see you guys again so absolutely thanks for being on musicians in bars getting beer musicians Thank you. in bars getting beer yeah. let's go get some beer cheers cheers, cheers.